hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm joy abel today i will be talking about viruses that kills marriages viruses that kills marriages so guys i'm gonna continue from where i stopped in my last video in case you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe just click on that red subscribe button right there and also on the notification bell so guys let's get started here are the viruses that kills marriages number one relating more with your parents than your spouse relating more with your parents than your spouse I see no reason why you should relate more with your parent than your spouse when you get married typically you leave your parents home and join your spouse even the Bible says for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife and the two will become one if you are still relating more with your parents than your spouse you are still a child you are still a child and you know what you are not ripe enough for marriage you are not matured enough for marriage marriage is not for a child marriage is meant for two matured adults marriage is not by age it is not by age your spouse should be your friend if you need an advice and or you are frustrated in your place of work or in your business your spouse should be the best person you should talk to and not your parents as a husband you don't need your parents advice before taking decision in your home in your marriage you don't need your parent advice before buying something for your wife before buying her a car before buying her things you need to stand your ground as a man and take decision in your home you guys are supposed to be friends you are supposed to watch each other's back so if you want to have a happy home you want to have a successful marriage you need to stop relating more with your parent than your spouse number two poor communication poor communication communication is the glue that holds marriages together it is the glue that holds marriages together regardless of what causes communication breakdown in a marriage they can cause rift between partners that are hard to fix it can cause rift between partners that are hard to fix failing to communicate on a regular basis at the very least can cause you guys to feel less connected to one another and i'm sure you wouldn't want this to happen in your marriage poor communication with your spouse can cause your bond to diminish it can cause your bond to diminish so you need to stop it It can also create a sense of dissatisfaction, confusion, restlessness, and fear between partners. Communication in marriage is about connecting. It is about connecting and using your verbal, reasoning, and physical skills to fulfill your partner's needs. It's not about making small talk is about understanding your partner's point of view it's about understanding your partner's point of view often support and letting your partner know you are there this is very very good in a marriage so in conclusion i will say that if there is miscommunication you will miss the opportunity to build trust and intimacy and you both feel frustrated within the relationship or marriage so guys if you need an advice 
counseling or you want to book for your wedding cake or your birthday cake or you are in need of a caterer to cater for your occasion just get right in touch with me with this number thanks for watching subscribe